Hello Leo. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoincha here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading. And I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. And please keep in mind that the way I do my readings, I only channel through my higher intuitive self. I always have. And I don't actually use any spirit guides. I do channel Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel at the end of the reading. So this is somebody that you may have had, wow, you've had history with this person. Um, somebody who you've had a relationship with, this could be a situationship as well. Could also be somebody simply who you've exchanged glances with, but there's a lot of energy um, between the both of you. There's a lot of flow of this energy and it's not happy energy. From this person's point of view there's something going on here where um, it doesn't seem to be so positive from their side holy smokes okay you have a lot of um for me, some cards are very dark, negative, and you have at least one, two, three, four, five cards here that are not so positive. These are slightly negative. Um, I mean, especially with boundaries and grief and the crisis card and order, order and chaos. Those are pretty huge. And that is um, a very complicated and difficult situation, not only for you, but also for this person, apparently, that's what it seems. Because of the intensity of these cards um, and the meanings of them, you could actually feel that this is vice versa. This could also be your situation because it's so intense. You are actually mirroring this person um, unknowingly. It's just something that happens energetically. You don't know that you're mirroring the other individual. It's just that they feel like this and so you feel like this. Now, Leo, we have here order followed by illusion. Then we have crisis surrender, grief, change, pleasure, boundaries, and then we have sexuality under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. This could also be, for some of you, vice versa, the cards. My dear Leo, the situation that I find myself stuck in right now, I'm really unable to find a way out. Everything around me, I know I have to make a choice, I know I have to make a decision. But everything around me seems to be in this thick white fog. And I cannot go beyond this because I don't see a way out. If I saw a way out, and if I knew which right path to take, I would take it. But because I am surrounded by clouds, I feel that my judgment is not right. I might just make a mistake. I might make the wrong move, take the wrong path. And the result will be even worse than what it is right now. And therefore you wonder why I'm not making a move, why I'm not doing anything. It's because I am unsure. Unsure of the things that are happening, the circumstances. Unsure of what has happened. I need a little bit more of truth, some clarity, in order to make sense of all that is going on. 
to you, I may seem as if everything is okay. I hide what I truly feel on the inside. I hide behind a veil, behind a false mask. And I don't show you what it is that I actually feel for you. It may seem to you as though I don't care at all. But the truth is I do care. I just don't show you. Right now, my mind is because it's because of the confusion of this order and chaos. My mind is in a state of crisis now. I feel overwhelmed and these feelings and emotions that are so overwhelming for me, I need time to sort them out. The time could be weeks, months, years. This is going to take me a long time. It's something I really wasn't expecting, these feelings that I have at this moment this feeling of being overwhelmed. My mind right now, there is a lot of confusion, frustration, impatience. And I want to make sense of many things that are happening, but I am unable to make sense of any of it. I do want to surrender my heart to you. I have surrendered my mind, my heart, my body to you. Everything that I have done, everything that I say, it is something that is straight from the heart. I feel as though I belong to you and you belong to me. But it doesn't seem like that to you because I don't express myself in that way. And I don't express myself because I am confused and I am overwhelmed. This has caught me in a very difficult situation now. I am stuck between a rock and a hard place. I'm stuck in this predicament. I don't really know what to do. And all I feel right now is because I can't express myself to you, I feel grief, I feel sadness, I feel remorse, and I also feel regret for what I've done, for the things that I've said and the things that I should have said but I didn't, the things that I should have done but I never did, never took action when I should have. Because of our situation now, there is a sense of sadness and melancholy. And I see this, I sense this, I know this. It is difficult for me to move beyond these feelings because I myself am stuck in this cloud that surrounds me. Because of all of this, I do want a change a change is needed in this connection. Certain things have happened. Certain things I have not been able to put into perspective. But I do know that in this connection there is a need to change and to make a difference in all that I do and all that has been done. If I don't make a change, then things will stay the same, which is why I know it is important for me to actually make a change now. I do feel a lot of pleasure, a lot of pleasure with you. You know what really makes me happy. There's certain things about you that are just very alluring, very charming. This pleasure that I get is not only physical, but it is also spiritual in a way.
because of all of this, all of this confusion that is in my mind, this unsurety, I am unsure. Why would I want to be in a relationship and to pursue a connection when I myself am not sure? For this reason, my dear Leo, I put up boundaries. I keep my distance. I don't want to be in a situation where I'm with someone and still leading you on. I don't want to lead you on. What I'd rather do is just leave you alone so I can figure out my own stuff. Overall, I know that in this connection there has been a lot of lust, desire for who you are, for how gorgeous you are. I have these desires to be intimate with you so much. I fantasize about you and I want to be with you. But I know it's the wrong thing. I shouldn't be feeling like this. This is too much. It's too lustful. And it doesn't make sense to me why I'm so attracted to you in this way. To the point where, in my heart and my mind, I would consider something like this a toxic relationship because it is very lustful based. Not a lot of emotion, not a lot of communication. This is why, Leo, I've been keeping my distance. All right, Leo. Wow. So there's two cards here, Order Chaos card and the Crisis card. For me, both of them are absolutely just very confusing. This person has a lack of understanding. They're overwhelmed and they're grieving. Therefore, they're keeping their boundaries. So definitely something has happened um, in this connection, no matter what I guess you could say whatever stage you're in. Something has happened and it really has made a difference. Um, but the impact, for some of you, you may, you may feel as if this person, and this person has, they've hurt you. I understand that. But in their own way, they're trying to actually protect you by being away from you. I know it sounds weird. But the masculine energy often does this in a person. They try to be the leader. They try to be the one who's logical. And so this is even in females that have masculine energy. A person pulls back. They pull away. And then what happens is that they try to make sense of all of this. But do they want to hurt you? No, they don't. To you, it seems as if they're hurting you because they've stayed away from you for so long. But the sad, twisted truth behind all of this is that they're trying to protect you by staying away from you. That's how weird that is. That's the way it works. That is very, very common. And a lot of us think that Oh, this individual has ghosted us, they used me sexually, and now they've ghosted me. This person has a conscience. They are starting to now keep their distance from you because they know that what I've done is not right. They know this. A little too late? Yeah, maybe. It's been a bit too late. Maybe that's true. However, there's also that saying, better late than never, right? So at least at some point this person has thought about it. All right, let's have a look at the Lover's Path Tarot. Hmm. 
Mm. Oh, wow. All right. Eight of staffs and the four of cups. So I look at these two cards and this little spread that I do to see what is the reason behind this entire problem? What happened? Maybe you know about this. Maybe you don't know about this. But what happened that caused the problem in the first place? Why did things start going downhill in this connection? These I read in the reverse. So let's have a look. The Eight of Staffs does talk about how in this connection somebody had started to wait too long for communication to occur. The card suggests perhaps it's time to take the initiative. To create waves of communication. However, here someone is waiting for the other to make the first move. There is a little bit of passive aggressive nature here. So, the both of you with the boundaries card, and it's been a while, there has been a lack of communication between the both of you. The problem is, is that it's a fire that used to be there and now it's extinguished. How does one restart that fire? That is what this person is having an issue with. They realize that there's a lack of communication, they realize that they want to communicate, but they also don't want to be the one that reaches out first. Does this mean that you reach out first? Absolutely not. You know why? Because this person and their mind, they're totally, totally screwed up right now. They have too many emotions that are all over the place. You don't want to be with somebody like that. In their heart, in their mind, they think they desire that my Leo reaches out to me. But once Leo reaches out, will this person respond? And will all of those cards change? The feeling of being overwhelmed, the feeling of having grief and remorse and regret, the feeling of having that order and chaos, confusion around you. You think all of that is going to go away? No, it's not. This is just a desire that's popping up that this person wants you to reach out to them. If you really want them to be pulled by desire, unfortunately, the key is not to reach out. I hate that phenomenon, but it friggin' works. I don't know why. The no contact rule. It works. This person needs to heal on their own. They need to mature on their own, and they need to be the one that they'll get the wisdom, they'll get the strength, and then they'll be able to reach out to you. Right now, even if you reached out, it's only, for example, half a baked cake. It's half baked. It's not fully baked. This person's not fully ready. So even if you try now, it's not going to work out. Um, my recommendation, you take your time. You do you. Let this person heal. Let them change. Let them become wiser. Let them gain the strength and the courage to finally reach out to you. Because of the amount of cards, it might take some time. We also have here a Four of Cups. Let's have a look. Okay. <coughs> Guys, I was sick a while ago, and I still am. <coughs> Don't mind my my coughing in between. Um, <clears throat> Four of Cups. <clears throat> this talks about dissatisfaction. So this person had this feeling when things started to change a little bit. Let me just take some water because I feel itchy. Okay. All right. Um, Four of Cups. <laughs> dissatisfaction overindulgence and boredom. That is the characteristic of this card right now, the way this person is feeling and the way that they were feeling. At some point in time, they started to feel dissatisfied. Why? Because they were overindulging. Once they were overindulging, and what card did you have? You had sexuality and you had pleasure. 
Those two for me are very lustful cards. So there was a lot of overindulgence here when it comes to the physical aspect. And because of that, this person became bored. Too much of anything. Anybody will lose interest. Too much of anything. It's really, it's really bad. It shouldn't be the case, but it does happen. It's better to be that rare commodity, that rare object, so that people can desire you still. You give a little, you pull back a little. You give a little, you pull back. That's just the way it is. Um, too much of anything is bad. And this person had too much of you. That's what they feel. And maybe you feel you gave too much of yourself to them. But you only did it for love. Um, what happened here is this person realizes, and they're feeling here, that they had taken something for granted. Your love, your talent, your beauty. And they realized that they wanted a new and more authentic way of life. They wanted to reevaluate the relationship that they were going through with you, which started to feel very superficial from their end. Here we also have, they wanted to accept the situation even though discontent was still present. The card also indicates that this is a passing phase, so this is not going to last forever. But this person started to feel, and this is all in their head, this is not even you. They were the one that overindulged and then they thought that, you know what, everything is fake. Everything's phony. This is all artificial. And unfortunately, you know, that's, that's not true, right? Um, from your point of view, it was different. However, from their point of view, it really was very much based on materialism, based on the physical, and they... They really just need time to sort out their own issues. They have issues. So those are some of the problems that occurred that have caused these issues to occur in the first place. Let's have a look. The beginner's tarot deck. So, okay. Um, there's temperance underneath. I only picked the top card. It has the most amount of energy. If it's meant to come out, it'll come out again. We have here Emperor. Um, this is any type of action, any intention um, that this person may have towards you. Any plans that they may have. Yikes. Okay. Wow, this is a pretty jam-packed little spread. You have the Emperor. You have the Devil card. You have Queen of Cups. Then you have the Tower card. Followed by the Three of Swords under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. So, let's have a look. What time do we have here? All right. <clears throat> The Emperor card talks about how this person has a little bit of a dominating side. For some of you, you might have thought that they're a little bossy, maybe even like a narcissist. Um, and there's different levels of narcissism. Not everybody is. Some people are just naturally kind of bossy. It doesn't mean that they're narcissists. Um, there's a difference. Um, with this Emperor card, though, this is somebody who definitely does um, feel love for you. There is love here. I do see that. However, for them, it's more like they want to they want to have it their way or the highway, right? They want you all to themselves, but they want to have everything done by their rules. And for you, that's not fair because that's not, that's not you. That's not what you want. That's not what you deserve. It should be an equal give and take relationship. Does this person want to provide you with security and to be the king or queen of your castle? Absolutely yes. Yes, they do. They do want to take care of you. They want to love you. They want to provide for you. But they also have a little bit of like restrictions and rules that this is how things need to be because this is how it's always been. However, they need to see that it's, that it also has to be perspective from your side too. Again, the devil card. Why do I say again? Because we also had sexuality first. This talks about a very sensual, sexually addictive kind of relationship. 
this person is sexually addicted to you. They want to be with you. They obsess over you and obsess over your naked body. This person thinks about you a lot in very naughty ways. They are actually unable to stay away from you mentally. Every time they do, something happens and they end up thinking about you. Do they have any type of ill will or nasty energy towards you? Anything evil? No, they don't feel like that. The energy is okay. However, it is the fact that there has been too much, too sudden, too fast. Bitten off more than you can chew type of situation. Can't digest it. You only did what you did because you felt it was right at the time. This person is a little toxic. Maybe a lot. Um, they're very dominating. They're the dominant kind. They need somebody who's submissive. And if you are, that's okay. But that's what this person wants. He finds you to be very gentle, very soft, very loving, very caring. Um, here we also have the Queen of Cups, who is someone who is very gentle, very loving, caring. Somebody who is very nurturing and a protector. Somebody that always shows and has unconditional love for the other. This is how this person views you. It's a very beautiful and loving card to have. But something here happens, Leo. In the coming, this could be, my. I don't have any timelines. I don't, I don't do well with timelines. Possibilities are that, yeah, in the future, at some point in the future, um, there's going to be a tower moment. Something's going to really, really change um, in this person's life. You remember, and it just occurred to me, you had the change card earlier. Remember, you had the change card. The first spread. This is exactly that. So there is going to be some type of change. Something's going to definitely be different. It's not going to be the same like it used to be. We also have here under the bottom of the deck the overall arching theme which is like an umbrella that envelops all of these. This is the Three of Swords. Heartache. Heart is broken. For some of you, small portion of you, this could be a third party situation. I'm getting seven, maybe seven percent of you. Um, it could be a third party situation. Whatever it is, this person, again, with the grief card, this is associated to the grief card. This person is grieving, they are sad, there's a lot of melancholy, there's a lot of just regret, remorse, hurt, pain. A sharp pain in the heart because of separation and grieving because they cannot fix the situation. So, overall, I do see that this person, you know, they do have love for you. It's just that their way of loving may not be the way that you want to be loved. So they may love you, but the love that you want, that's not the way they express it. And their expression is very different. Um, and this is totally up to you if you want to continue this or not, because this person's method and their ways are not going to change. This is just who they are. Some of you might want to remain in a connection like this. Some of you might not. <clears throat> Let's have a look what the angels have to say about this. Oh boy, let go. Did I not just say that earlier? Let go. Letting go means no contact. Don't deal with this person. Let this person come to you. You don't chase this person.
look for a sine, perfect timing, and we have remain positive. We have here, it's up to you, followed by a timeline, good, uh, within the next few months, could be more than a few months. And we have abundance. Oh, big happy changes. Guys, this turns out to be quite nice. Hopefully for all of you. Um, now, you do have a card here that talks about it's up to you. Um, this particular card is a choice card. It is fate and destiny. It's a choice whether you want to choose this reality or not. Reality meaning that you have different timelines, different realities that you're in right now. Um, track number A, B, C, D, all the way up to infinity. Um, only certain amount of letters in the alphabet, but there's many possibilities of what it is that could be an outcome for you. And the celestial beings create different kind of paths for us. So if some of you decide not to be with this person, that is okay. This person's not the end-all be-all. There is something else written for you. You just have to hop on from one track to the other. And then that destiny is already written for you. You're just playing the part. For all of you, the message is this. In order to have any type of betterment in your life, um, it's important to let go. Let go of this person for now. Let go of any type of belief-related issues, any type of arguments, any type of things that you know that are causing problems or an imbalance in this connection, sorry. <coughs> um, we also have here look for a sign. And looking for a sign here is kind of like not just signs and synchronicities, but to see, and it sounds weird, but I'm getting the word social media, or even through friends, if you could just maybe see, you know, is this person starting to liven up a bit? Are they looking as sad and lonely and depressed as they were before? Their mood is based on you. And so look for a sign. You can talk to friends, family members, people that know this person. The sign could also be that they might just literally text you. They may just reach out to you somehow, either directly or indirectly. And if they do, then that is a sign. However, you need to be a little weary of how you react to that particular individual. Um, you take your time, you take things slow, you don't rush into anything. When this happens, they are saying that it will be in perfect timing. Perfect timing means what? You are already prepared and ready. This person was not. However, they are saying that there will be a time in the future when they will be ready. That will be the perfect timing for that individual and yourself. They are saying here to remain positive. And within the next few months, you are going to receive abundance. Eventually, Leo, there's going to be big, happy changes. There's going to be changes, they're going to be big, and you're going to be happy about it. It's a pretty good outcome. Um, it's just a matter of time. Some of you might have time, some of you might not. And that's okay. See what you can do in the meantime. Distract yourself. But don't force yourself into a situation with somebody else. You yourself have to heal first. See what makes you feel comfortable. Don't lie to yourself. Don't distract yourself. Distracting yourself is okay for some time, but you're not actually getting to the root of the problem, are you? When we distract ourselves, we're just trying to cover something up. Eventually, that cover comes off. It's just like digging a shallow grave, right? Whatever you buried. Rain falls, wind comes, that soil is gone, and then boom, that person's right there. You have to be careful how you're able to heal. You need to heal first. Some of you have gone through a lot, and so it is important for you to take that time out for yourself and to let go 
Um, and for others of you, it's just a matter of time. And for a small portion of you, it's up to you. They literally are saying here, Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, that you might not even want to be in this connection because it's up to you in a few months you may just receive some type of abundance, which you will, because it's here, which will bring big happy changes. This abundance could be another individual altogether. All right, my dear Leo, that is your reading. I hope I was able to provide you guys with some clarity, some guidance in your situation. Let me know in the comments below if any of this resonated. And I just wanted to announce that I'm still um, taking on love readings, which are um, written report readings for now. So I still have those open. If any of you are interested, please feel free. You can go to the website, place an order. Have a look at the description first, however. If that is something that you're looking for, then definitely I can put you in, in a spot. All right. You all take care. Stay safe. Bye now.